on 6th May 2023, King Charles III will become the 40th monarch of the United Kingdom. But despite the UK having a parliament and an elected government, what does the king do? We will tell you all, but before that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Money Control's YouTube channel. England has a constitutional monarchy. That means the monarch exercises their authority in accordance with the constitution and is not alone in making decisions. Where King Charles is head of state and the government is known as His Majesty's government. The king reigns, but he does not rule. Governance is done by the government. And as head of state, in the UK, the king is constitutionally obliged to follow the government's advice. As a monarch, the king's powers are symbolic and ceremonial, and he remains politically neutral. The monarch's everyday duties include receiving daily dispatches from the government in a red leather box and briefings ahead of important meetings or documents needing his signature. The monarch makes a host of appointments, such as senior judges in the UK court. Every Wednesday, the Prime Minister's meeting is scheduled with the King at the Buckingham Palace to keep him informed on government matters. These meetings are completely private and there is no official record of what is said. The monarch also has several parliamentary duties to play. The first, appointing a government. The leader of the party that wins a general election is usually called to Buckingham Palace where they are invited to form a government. The king also formally dissolves a government before the UK general election. Second, state opening and the king's speech. The king begins the parliamentary year with the state opening ceremony, where he sets out the government's plans at the House of Lords. Although the king makes the speech, but the government draws up the content. And third, royal assent. All bills legislation passed through the parliament must be formally approved by the king in order to become a law. The monarch gives the final assent. Additionally, the king hosts visiting heads of state and regularly meets foreign ambassadors and high commissioners based in the UK. But the most visible part of the monarchy is its role as the head of the state. In this representative role, the monarch acts as a focus for national identity, unity, stability and pride. I am speaking to you at what I know is an increasingly challenging time. I wish you all a very happy Christmas gives honours to recognised public service and visits schools, hospitals, charities. According to a EU government BBC Panorama survey conducted in April 2023, 58% of the respondents said that they wanted to keep the monarchy as opposed to 26% of the respondents who wanted the monarchy to be replaced with an elected head of state. Rest said that they can't say. But perhaps the most controversial role of the monarchy has been its hold of the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth of Nations is a political association of 56 member states, the vast majority of which are former territories of the British Empire. King Charles is the head of state in 14 Commonwealth countries, including Australia, New Zealand and Canada. India is the Commonwealth's biggest economy. The Commonwealth has been massively criticised for being a post-colonial club and for having little influence in the modern world. In fact, Barbados became the world's newest republic in 2021 after removing Queen Elizabeth II as its head of the state. Jamaica also signalled its intent to move on from the monarchy. Now, despite the fact that they no longer hold ruling power, the royals have considerable cultural influence. How will it fare under King Charles III will be for us to find out. <laughs>